Oh, climbing, climbing, climbing. adventure on the full fat had us down on the Denali Highway this adventure has got us about 60 miles north of Fairbanks off the Steese Highway which traditionally was the Fairbanks to Circle Trail that the miners used back in the early 1900s to get to the gold fields in Fairbanks so we're off of that corridor now, doing our best to get back into an area known as the Nome Creek. And of course, probably connected to the Gold Rush in Nome and different miner, I don't know. But the route in is, is a bit of work. I've been climbing this pretty steep grade now for the last three and a half miles. And I think, hopefully, we're going to crest out here fairly soon because this is steep. This is definitely steep. But thanks for coming along as we head back into the Nome Creek area, 60 miles north of Fairbanks. Here's the road. There's the view. And there's a fairly tired trike rider at the moment. All right, we finally crested the mountain. Well, that was a tough one. Let's see, what was that? Yeah, four and a half miles to get to the the top. But we're now overlooking the Nome Creek drainage. We can see Tabletop Mountain out there. If you look there, you might be able to see that flat topped out there. That's a place you can take a loop hike, which is kind of nice. And then if we come back this way, that's up towards the Mount Prindle area. This is all part of what's called the White Mountains Recreation area, I think that's the name of it. That's managed by the BLM. But the road was good. It was just steep and long. So now we're going to descend down into the valley and then we have to turn left or turn right, depending on where we want to go next. Maybe a little hard to see out there, but you can see remnants of the gold era where all those little gravel berms, if you want to call them down there, those have all been dredged, stone crushed, all looking for that gold. 
So there's some remnants of kind of how this corridor developed. Well, we're going to continue on down the road here. We made the run up to the Prindle Mountain Campground. And so now we're back. Got a little bit of lunch in me. And now we're going to basically turn the opposite direction and go down to the Ophir Campground. So that's about, oh, about a 12 mile run down this road. Right now this road actually looks pretty good. The first mile of this was, oh, painfully awful ruts and rocks and just, yep, yeah, just a road that doesn't receive a lot of attention. Well, we are at the end of the road. So, where this Ophir Creek campground is, which is at the end of the road back here on the Gnome Creek area, this is also the start of the Beaver Creek National Wild Scenic River zone. So people will come back here and put in with kayaks and canoes and float the other way a long ways. I don't know much about that. I know there's one spot where you can stop and if you have collapsible gear, you can pack it all down and then you hike your way out. I know that there's some services that they'll fly an airplane to get you there, but I'm not sure what happens if you miss that because I think Beaver Creek goes forever and ever and ever and like all the rivers here in this part of Alaska, eventually they're going to drain down in the Yukon River, but that could be couple hundred miles away so yeah I think you'd have to think what you're doing if you're gonna do this but a beautiful scene it's kind of where we are and you got one creek coming in there you got a little other creek coming in here a nice little flowing river which right now is running pretty low so imagine if you got this at high water it'd be a whole lot different experience so I'm going to wind my way back out. I'm not sure if this is going to be a wrap for the day. It might be. Just because that first climb hours and hours ago, that took a lot out of my legs. They're tired and it is a hot day for us anyway. So we're up in the low 80s. Which I know for some people watching that's no big deal. But for an Alaskan who cycled down at 10 below zero, that's a pretty big temperature jump. So we're going to wind our way out of here and see what else we can do before we call this a day. There's a little milestone. The full fat has now reached 1,800 miles. So that's a wrap for today. We end up with a little over 40 mile ride. And what you can see in the background, those two signs. So we came up off the steeps, went over that very steep 2,500 foot climb in the first four and a half miles. Came down in the Nome Creek Valley. And then we turned left, or actually right, yeah, to go up to see the Mount Prindle campground. And then we just turned around and went the other direction down to go see the Ophir Creek campground. Then turned around and came back here to the T intersection. So the legs are shot, so I think we're going to just drive out versus climbing out that last pass. I think there's a cold Coke waiting for me in the truck. So we're going to call it a day. So thanks for coming along on this full fat adventure. I've been enjoying these adventures quite a bit. And this full fat has definitely opened up some places to ride that, well, I just never rode before. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.